Hey, what is up guys, Digirex here, and today we are doing a review on Her Revenge, the Year 2 Queen's Hand Cannon, and I actually got this to drop from Prison of Elders, and mine has Mulligan and Triple Tap along with Snapshot, so it's an okay roll, it's decent, it's probably better for PvE than PvP, but we're going to be doing a review on both with this roll, and it also has that Chroma, like all the Queen's weapons and the Varex weapons, so this gun doesn't look very aesthetically unique but the chroma you can change the color of it whatever you want you can make it unique to your own and I'm sure not a lot of people are using this hand cannon so you'll be unique just using it plus you can change the color of the chroma so you will be unique sporting this hand cannon around although it does have a normal kind of model for a hand cannon and just the Queen's logo on it so guys we're gonna get right into the review alright guys first off I just wanna say if you compare this weapon to Hawkmoon it has super similar stats beside reload but impact, like stability, those are really similar to Hawkmoon. So I just wanted to say, first off, if you use Hawkmoon a lot, this weapon is really similar to Hawkmoon. So you'll instantly, like, pretty much get the hang of it, because it's got the same, like, impact and stability. So guys, I would say if you're going to use a hand cannon in PvE, this is one of the better ones to use for sure. It's got high impact, which is good for PvP, and it's got decent recoil if you have perks on it to decrease the recoil then it'll definitely be a lot better but the impact is really what matters it packs a pretty good punch in PvE and PvP but what I'm saying is you can down a lot of enemies very quickly with this hand cannon and the range isn't too bad either I mean like you're not gonna get as much range as a scout rifle but this isn't terrible for any PV PvE situations some PvE parts you're gonna need like a sniper for like attacking bosses, or you're going to need longer range weapons like scout rifles. This weapon can fill in a lot of places scout rifles can, although it does have a lot less range than scout rifles, but a lot of the time you're fighting up close, you're getting personal with your enemies, and I think this weapon is actually a really good way to do this with. And the high impact makes sure you- this weapon actually has you covered for a lot of PvE engagements, and I found it really useful most of the time I used it. I used it for a few nightfalls and a few prison of elders. And I really liked it. I'd say I used it about a total of maybe two hours in PvE. And I actually really enjoyed my time with it. I thought it was a very good weapon. Because normally I use scouts in uh, PvE. Just because, I don't know, they're just the bomb. But I, I really never use hand cannons at all in PvE. And I'm sure a lot of you don't either. But if you're ever looking for a good, nice, close range weapon... I recommend this. The impact is very good, so it kills most enemies with one or two shots. You can just headshot them or body shot them, double headshot, you know. The recoil is a little hard to control, that's why I'd recommend trying to get a stability perk on this, like counterbalance maybe, something like that, just to control the recoil a little bit. But yeah guys, that's my review for PvE. I actually really like this for PvE. I thought it was a suitable weapon, and with Mulligan, it actually does work if you miss a shot you get it back most of the time so that recoil whenever I missed a shot because that recoil I got it back like half the time because mulligan I'm actually really liking I think it's a good perk now that they buffed it at Taken King and stuff like that but yeah guys that is my review for the PvE now let's jump straight into PvP so guys for PvP like I said this weapon has very similar stats to Aukmoon and I don't use Hawkmoon much, and I'm not very good with it, because I'm not patient. But I'm going to say this, if you are patient, and you do know how to control the recoil, or you do get a perk to decrease recoil, this gun will be insane in the Crucible for a legendary hand cannon. Now I know that Lord High Fixer and ES Luna, those are two really good options for a legendary hand cannon in the Crucible. But I think this gun is actually a close second of those two, if you can control the recoil. You can kill with two body shots and a headshot with this weapon due to the higher Hawkmoon like impact which is really nice actually I was downing some people while they were trying to super me and stuff like that and if you pair it with a sniper which you would probably pair most legendary hand cannons with it was really useful you could body shot them with the sniper and finish them off if you didn't manage to land that headshot with the sniper or just even with the hand cannon you could solo people I'd recommend using this weapon more up close than far ranges like a hand cannon and maps like at a far range, like Bannerfall, I actually wouldn't recommend using this weapon. Maps like that, I wouldn't recommend using this weapon. But, if you use it at close range, it actually destroys people. Like, it's really good at close ranges. 
and the impact makes it so you can down people pretty quickly if you are accurate. Pretty. I totally butchered the pronunciation of pretty. Um, I'm an idiot. But yeah, guys, it actually is really good for Crucible. I'm not going to say it's anything like the exotic hand cannons, because the exotic hand cannons are pretty amazing. Hawk, Moon, Thorn, Last Word, stuff like that. Uh, don't mention the first curse, because that thing sucks major balls. That thing is actually terrible. But the other three are really good, actually. But it won't compare to that, like most legendary hand cannons. Hand cannons could use a little bit of a buff in the Crucible right now, but I still do believe they can be usable, like people with ES Luna, weapons like that, it is still very usable. And I believe you can use this weapon very effectively in the Crucible if you can control the recoil and be accurate. So guys, the reason I'm comparing this recoil pattern to Hawkmoon so much is just because Hawkmoon is a well-known exotic hand cannon that's really good. And this is kind of like Hawkmoon without the perks, but if you get luck in the chamber, then it will definitely be more like it. And I know everybody says ES Luna is mini Hawkmoon because it totally looks like it and stuff, but I think this is more similar in stats to Hawkmoon, although it does have a pretty slow reload, which kind of sucks. But then again, you have nine shots in a mag and like three can down somebody. So then again, you could down three people with a mag if you are doing well. And nine isn't bad for a hand cannon. It's not too much, but it's not too little. I mean, it could be a little higher. Something like 10 or 11 would be nice. Just a few extra bullets for insurance. But yeah, guys, that's just about going to wrap up the review. I'd say you could definitely use it in PvP and be successful. So yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Overall, this weapon is actually pretty good. I wouldn't expect this weapon to be good. It's not amazing or anything. It's pretty good it's just pretty good it's not like super good or anything like that i just personally like it i like using the legendary hand cannons and i think they do need a buff because i actually do like using legendary hand cannons once in a while in the crucible it's actually pretty fun and i did pretty well with this weapon so before i end this video i just want to apologize for the video i uploaded yesterday it was about hanzo and overwatch and the game volume was really loud and you could barely hear my voice and i'm gonna apologize for that guys but I am going to leave it up because you can hear my voice and I do like the gameplay I put in it. So I'm going to leave it up. The other Overwatch videos, you'll be able to hear my voice more clearly. So guys, I just wanted to say that real quick. Just get that out there because if any of you watched my video yesterday, you can probably barely hear my voice. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to have more and more videos coming out as school is ending. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe for Overwatch, Destiny, Call of Duty, CSGO, all those games. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry for that Overwatch video yesterday. This has been Digirex. Like and subscribe. Peace.